good morning i just got back from the gym i did a super intense workout today i was literally dripping with sweat i feel so good about it i finally woke up with some energy the last few days i have not had any energy but today i'm feeling super good and in today's vlog I'm going to be washing my hair because it is a wash day, but I'm going to be finger curling it, curling every single strand and seeing how that goes. I know that's gonna be a lot more work than my typical just dry and go, but I thought we could try something new out today and see how it goes, see if I like it. I've been trying to get more definition in my hair and get used to definition because a lot of the times I like my hair on like day two and three because it doesn't have definition anymore and it just looks like straggly kind of, which I for some reason seem to like. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'll see you when my hair is soaking wet. I'm out of the shower. This is what my hair looks like after I've brushed it, washed it, conditioned it in the shower and air dried it so far. I haven't even air dried it. I literally just got out and put on clothes. It's kind of drying pretty fast today. I don't know why, but we are going to brush it with the Denman brush from Pattern. As you know, if you're a curly girl, you cannot brush your hair when it's dry. So this is kind of the only time um, you can brush it. Look at that, it's so long. I'm not gonna put any products in today because to be honest, I don't really like the feeling of products in my hair after the second and third day. I really like my hair just natural natural. Um, I figured that out after a long, time of trying different products and I just always realized I prefer my hair without any products. There is one product that I like, which is the Pillow um, Soft Curls, but today we're just gonna do this. This is what my hair looks like. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of shake it out at the root just so that nothing's like stuck together. I'm gonna section it off and start to curl. Now I have not seen anyone do their whole head this way but I'm gonna try. Maybe I do need to put product in for this. I feel like I do. Cause I don't know how I'm gonna curl each individual piece. Okay, let's just try. Okay, there's one. Okay, that kind of worked. Look, that kind of worked. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna curl them all the same direction. How do people curl it with the brush? I just don't understand. <gasps> okay, this is working, this is working. I guess I'll just go all that direction and then all the other direction the other way. Or maybe I'll do them in different directions. <laughs> pulling it out trying not to cause too much friction but my hair is still soaking wet so okay that looks good this is coming out way better than i expected okay so far we have all that the bottoms are a little hard to get to but so far i feel like this is working well They're not gonna hold as good as if I used some sort of product to kind of hold it, but I think either way, we'll get some good results. Maybe I need to do smaller sections. See, the ends just keep doing that. Look at that, the ends. But I'm thinking just my nat natural pattern, they will it will curl up a little bit. So maybe we can go in with the blow dryer after. That turned out good. Okay, so here is what we have for the first layer. I don't know how people do the curl with the Denman brush. Like, that didn't do shit. Finger curling is the way to go. I'm trying to get the ends all the way in there. Mm. 
that one's not as good. I'm telling you, the front and the top do not want to be healthy. Last section. Okay, I guess that's where my part wants to fall today. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. I had a thought. What? I know, I kind of feel like I did good. Maybe the ends are a little bit like sagging, but I feel like. It's just because your ends are less health. But some of my ends do that too. I feel like all the ends look like that, but normally they dry up. They're not, they're not that dry or anything. Or like fucked up. I love my hair when I just sleep and wake up. And I feel like I like my hair on second day hair once I've already slept on it. I don't. My hair looks so bad. Like, if I took it down, this shit looks terrible. The inside looks good. Yeah. Alright, guys. I waited for, like, literally maybe two minutes, like, trying to let it dry, but I cannot wait. My sister's on FaceTime right now. And now, I'm going to dry it. Also... I feel like a gel would have created a cast. I didn't want to use a gel today. So. You never do gel. I know, I just don't like gel. It makes you me feel gross. Well, I love it. Okay, let's see what happens after it just dries naturally now that I've given it a little bit of a dry. Say hi to Selena. Hello. What do you have to say to the people on the internet? I think that her hair is beautiful. Aw, thanks, sister. Hair is still drying. It's actually turning out really, really good. I feel like once it's fully dry, I'll be able to separate the pieces and it'll look so pretty. Daisy also made me an iced coffee. Thank you, Daisy. I appreciate. I appreciate you. Welcome. I love you. Right now, I'm, get, I'm giving like seventh grade curls where you like don't separate them afterwards but once it's fully dry i will separate them and they will look good i just have a feeling they're gonna look so good she's gonna give us her hair tutorial this is how it looks when i get out the shower and i make it so that i have no part at all i'm gonna use this hair oil but the hair oil really doesn't matter what you use period fair just don't put too much at your roots because then your roots are gonna get greasy and then I do my hair like soaking wet because that's like what helps me keep my frizz away. So I just use my spray bottle and I spray mostly from my roots. Hello soft curls. Oh, girl. <laughs> and then you rake, rake it, you rake it through your hair. I kind of like squeeze out like the excess water and there's like some soapiness into it and that's what I use on my roots. I'm gonna spray it again. But then I go back in with the brush to get all my curls like clumped together from me raking my fingers through it. You want to lift it off your roots so I slowly just go and drag it up off my roots. And now this is my crucial step that Alana doesn't like to take. I use gel because it makes a big difference. I do one pump of gel. Rub it through your hands so it's like even on both hands. It's really gross. And then you flip your head over and this one you just scrunch into your hair. And you want to hear this. <gasps> I have uh, one last step after this that's crucial. Put your head back. 
And then you're gonna shake your head forward to get the front bits. Like that. See how the front bits are forward? Now you do it to the front. Crucial step. And then you're done. Until there's a cast. And when there's a cast, you can diffuse if you want, or you can wait till it's fully dry and then scrunch it out. Per. so good at first I had a middle part and it my hair looked super flat on the top but then I flipped it and now look at it it is a bit frizzy but I kind of vibe with the frizz I kind of like like it and also I love these curls but I would not do this for an everyday look because it took quite a long time and quite a long time to dry that was the problem like doing it I don't really care I could do that every day but then having it sit and dry like that and then un like picking all the pieces apart that's the part that I wouldn't be able to do because I wouldn't be able to leave the house for super long I think they turned out really really pretty let's see what the back looks like how is the back I think I'm obsessed. This is like, this is really pretty. And my sister was saying next time if I do put something in there so that I can leave a better cast, then I wouldn't get as much frizz. So next time I think we'll try that out. Yay! <laughs>